right, you nerds. I hope this is going to be a short video. This is um, the new installation experience from Bluefin. So uh, we've been working pretty hard on ISOs for months, it feels like. it's. I'm tired. Um, but the installation experience for Universal Blue images has been very not awesome. Uh, probably the entire four years we've been doing it. And when we did get ISOs, uh, thanks to Jason and Noel, we were just kind of figuring it out. And um, it took a while for the rest of the ecosystem to catch up with Bootsy. And now we have two installers, actually, of course. Um, one is ready-made, which I'm not going to talk about uh, here today. That'll be a separate video. Uh, this is the actual Anaconda installer, and it's the new web UI. So um, I've been looking forward to, to trying this one. This is a new installer here. And it is the same Anaconda installer, except it has a different front end. Web UI, Wayland, I think Firefox is in there. Um, as you can see, we have some polish left to go. Check out this version number, epic. Um, so I'm just gonna go through it here real quick. One of the things I've always kind of strived for with our systems, I'm not gonna set a password here, I'm just showing you it exists, is um, installation is a thing that just needs to get out of the way, right? Uh, I've always kind of believed that uh, installation is like a thing that you do on day zero and then it's, it's, it's something you never have to see again. It is, if you think about all of the hours and days you're gonna be using a computer, installation is 0.001% of that or whatever that ends up being. So you want a nice installation experience to, to actually install the thing properly. Um, but I think especially with, with Linux users, everyone's always talking about the installation experience because everyone's reinstalling <laughs> distros all the time. So it's the first thing you see and people are always talking about uh, installs. Um, for us, it's a totally different thing. Bazi aside, because Bazi has to do dual booting because of devices and things like that. Um, you know, generally speaking, we want to dedicate a disk to the OS, blast it as fast as possible, and then I never want to see you again. So for us, the installation experience is more uh, click, 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 go, and then we want a few fundamental things uh, in addition to that. So the first one being encrypted drive support, which you saw, you can put in a password, that way your whole laptop is encrypted. Uh, every device that I own that isn't a desktop, uh, I set up that way. You, know, you, you leave it at a bar or something like that, that's always no good. Uh, or you might work for a place where they give you no choice. Um, and then for a desktop, that's that's really up to you. So we, we've been kind of cribbing along with this uh, installation, the old installation experience for a while. And then a bunch of people worked on this. Zeglius worked on this. Tulip worked on this. M2 showed up. Fear of folks were working on ready-made. So it was really kind of everybody trying to wrangle this, this anaconda monster. Um, but first things first, you, you may have noticed here, is we do have a live experience now. Uh, this is uh, via a tool that we call Titanoboa Snakes. I know, dude. I know. Um so Titanoboa gives us a live CD experience, and that's important for a few reasons. First of all, everybody else had it except for us, so that sucks. Uh, so it's nice to get parity with, with where everyone was uh, a long time ago already. But because, especially with our NVIDIA images, that the driver and all that stuff is already on the image, it's a good way to test hardware on a live CD system uh, without committing to installation, and that's always useful. Uh, you can test to see if hardware acceleration works, you know, uh, see if the browser, go to YouTube, see if that works, right? You know, open up the system monitor, make sure it's all hardware accelerated, all that kind of good stuff. That's the kind of stuff that you'd love to know in a live CD before you commit. Especially one of our big use cases is we install these for our friends, right? Who don't install operating systems, right? So it's very useful for us to be able to understand exactly what hardware is working in a live instance, because then they can play with it and they can see it and they're like, oh, okay, this this actually feels really good or is it slower than my previous thing? That kind of stuff. So it kind of, the ability to drive the thing is, is very important. And then from there, they can just click a thing and then blast the disc, right? And then get uh, what they need. So as you see here, this is installing the actual OCI container. There's no, there's not individual packages being installed in here or any of that stuff. It's just basically, 
uh, installing the container. One of the reasons our ISOs are so large is always been a firm believer in offline installations. Uh, you know, you got to be able to give someone the full experience offline. And that's for a few reasons. A, if we're making USB sticks and we're spending the money at a conference, it's got to be it's got to be a full experience. It would suck if it's like, yeah, you've installed the core OS. Now when you get home, remember to install all your applications. Like that sucks. So uh, for us having that offline experience so that you, you kind of front load the download in the front and it gives you the full OS uh, out of the box is important to us. Even though that uh, they are heavier than, than a lot of other uh, Linuxes, although now this one here is, I think, about 5 gigs, so it's the same ballpark as Ubuntu, and that's including having Firefox, Thunderbird. Uh, we put Pinta on there because it's, like, amazing. So you should be able to give someone a full a full working uh, install. We have too many U's. This bothers me. I got one, two, and then three here, so i gotta figure, I got to figure something out with that. Um, so it's it's finishing up here, doing the thing, and then we should be able to boot into our new system. I told you this was going to be a short video. So we've automated uh, the generation of Anaconda and ready-made installers in GitHub. So we'll be pushing up new ISOs all the time. We're actually not finished. Like, as you could tell, we got to we gotta trim this up here a little bit. Maybe add some artwork up there. Do what, whatever the, the final bit is. So we're able to spit out ready-made and Anaconda ISOs automatically. Uh, on demand so that's that's pretty good so our intent is excuse me i just had dinner is to uh kind of just rev all summer and see how they're going but for 42 you do get a nice oh i missed the part ah uh, it's the installer also does developer mode or uh dark mode when you when you click the dark it'll it'll go into dark mode it's like the most important thing uh as you can see we have um, secure boot support out of the box, just like all the other stuff. The password is universal blue. And then you reboot once, and then you never have to touch that again. And then install 42. Now, Bluefin itself, that's the Fedora-based one, the, the, the one that's on the website, uh, defaults to this new web UI. Bluefin GTS, which is Fedora 41, which is our default, is still using the old GTK installer. And so is Bluefin LTS. So at some point, those will just rotate out uh, once we got the web UI working and then the user after they boot um, they will have always always remember to set your dinosaurs uh, they will have the first run thing and they will create their username and password and all that stuff <coughs> and then they'll do the tour which I always skip and that's it you're done. You could just leave them uh, with the fresh ISOs. We'll refresh them often enough or you don't, you shouldn't feel the need to have to refresh or, you know, run a update manually, you know, like if, if you wanted to, but um, generally speaking, that's it right there. And then uh, from then on their flat packs will start to update and then their next re reboot will be to uh, whatever the latest image that day is. So the installer is very fast. I like this a lot. Like it just blasts the thing answer the few questions, click next, next, next. So that, that, that's pretty good. So I think the era of this, this web UI for Anaconda is like really good. So I think the era of awful on Anaconda is over, or at least I'll hide so many of the parts that you want to deal with it. But, um, good to see this. It's been a long time coming. This is, this is nice. We have two installers to kick the tires uh, off of. So that kind of gives us uh, multiple options here and then enjoy the live CDs. You should check them out there. They're pretty dope. Even the older ones are live CDs now. So we only have live CDs and installers. So with that, stay safe out there. And we'll see you all later.